enjoy it. You know, I always love to quote this scripture. The Bible says that this is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. You know, let us be happy. Let us be happy today. Let us have that joy today. How can we have that joy? When we receive the Holy Spirit. Why the Holy Spirit? Why we have to receive the Holy Spirit? Because the Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 20, chapter 20, and it reads, the, the Spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. The Spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching for the innermost, searching. Wow, hallelujah. What is the Holy Spirit searching in us? You know, all those difficulties in us, all the things that we are not happy about it, let's give it to the Holy Spirit. Let's give it into the hands of Jesus. Children of God and people of God, John the Baptist came only for one reason. He came and he said and he preached. He said, repent, repent, repent is this. Turning away from the things that we have that we are doing wrong in our life. If we do wrong things in our life, what that brings into our life? It brings curse into our life. I'm here to tell it brings uh, unhappiness into our life. So coming before the Holy Spirit and Jesus by repenting and saying, Jesus, come into my heart. Jesus, you come and take complete control in my heart, in my life, in my family. We are giving it all to the Holy Spirit. Who is the Holy Spirit? Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled to the disciples because the disciples were so uh, worried because Jesus is going to be with his father. And Jesus looked around and said, he saw the worry upon the disciples. He saw the sadness, the hurt, the lonely, lonely into the disciple. And Jesus said, disciple, don't be troubled. I will go to my father and I will send the Holy Spirit. What does the Holy Spirit do? The Holy Spirit is our teacher. The Holy Spirit is our helper. He teaches us. He guides us. He leads us. He directs us. All we have to do is this to trust in the Lord. Proverbs said, King Solomon said, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him and he will direct your path. That's what the Holy Spirit do. The Holy Spirit, when we receive the Holy Spirit in us, brothers and sisters, people, people on earth, the Holy Spirit will guide us. The Holy Spirit will tell us what are we supposed to do. The Holy Spirit will help us. So I just pray, my prayer today is this, brothers and sisters, is this, that one day you will come and receive the Holy Spirit in your heart and let the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit is the candle in us. He is the light in us and he looks after us. The Bible says that Jesus said, ask me anything in my name and I will give you. The question I'm going to ask us today is, are we, are we asking God? Are we looking up and, and ask Jesus what we need in our life? Or are we just running to people? Are we just running to men and women? Are we just running to whoever that we are, or to the families? You know, I'm going to encourage you today run to Jesus look up to Jesus talk to Jesus you don't have to close your eyes for prayer you just talk to Jesus you can talk like a friend because he is our friend so talk to Jesus I'm here to say and to encourage all of us today that Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega he know you and me he knows the beginning and the end of us he is the Alpha. He is the answer of our life. Who is the answer of our life? Jesus is the answer of our life. He will direct you. He will lead you. He is the candle in our heart. He will search anything that is wrong in our life. And God will bring it to the prosperity and abundance in our life. Whatever you 
you're going through in life, Jesus is always there for you. But all we have to do is this. we got to ask Jesus to come into our life. Are you sick right now? Are you depressed right now? The answer is Jesus. That's why John said, repent. Turn away from our wicked ways. Look upon to Jesus. And Jesus is the answer of our life. You know, children of God and people of God, we are here too to encourage like Noah. Noah preached for 40 years. Maybe 40 years plus. Maybe 41. But the Bible says 40 years. Noah preached. And what happened? People didn't listen. How many people that went in the ark? Noah only preached for this. The mission that Noah came was this. He said in those days, he preached in those days and said, the flood is coming. There will be a flood. Did the people listen? Yes. How many people? Eight people. Noah and the family. Who else listened? The dogs listened. The animals listened. The ants listened. Because they were the one that the Bible says they went into the ark. The eight members of Noah and the animals went in the ark. And today we are preaching the same message today. The same message that Noah preached in those times. The same message today we're going to preach. Turn away. The flood is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. When Jesus come, first Jesus came for love. To knit us together. To craft us together. To bring us together to the Father. But when Jesus comes again, there's no more love. Jesus is coming for the judgment day. So we are here to preach and to encourage us all, men and women and family today is this. Love Jesus. Say yes to Jesus today and you will never regret. Thank you, Lord. God bless you and Jesus, let Jesus direct your minds, your heart, and we pray that one day you will say, or right now, you will say, Jesus, come into my heart. God bless you all.